Shortcuts can speed up your workflow in Unity, so in this video we are going to look at a range of useful shortcuts. On the left you will see shortcuts for Windows, and on the right, shortcuts for Mac. To save a scene, press Ctrl and S for Windows, or Command and S for Mac. To save as, press Ctrl, Shift and S for Windows, or Command, Shift and S for Mac. To open the scene, press Ctrl and L for Windows, Command and L for Mac. To create a new scene, press Ctrl and N for Windows, Command and N for Mac. If you make a mistake, it's Ctrl and Z to undo, or Command and Z on Mac. To redo, it's Ctrl and Y on Windows, or on Mac, it's Command, Shift and Z. You can also use Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste on Windows. That's Command and C, Command and V on a Mac. To enter and exit play mode, it's Ctrl and P for Windows or Command and P on Mac. Press Ctrl, Alt and P on Windows, Command, Option and P on Mac to step through the game one frame at a time. Press Ctrl, Shift and P on Windows or Command, Shift and P on Mac to pause or unpause the game. To open the build settings, press Ctrl, Shift and B for Windows, Command, Shift and B on Mac. To build and play directly, it is Ctrl and B for Windows or Command and B for Mac. All of these shortcuts can be viewed by going to Edit and Shortcuts. They are listed by category. Hover over any window and press Shift and Space to maximise, then Shift and Space again to return to Docked. Enter 2D mode by pressing 2, return to 3D mode by pressing 2 again. Press Q to enable pan mode and use the left mouse button to pan the scene. Use the right mouse button to rotate the scene. Use the middle scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in or out. If you click on an item, hold Alt while using the left mouse button to rotate around the selected object. You can use the arrow keys to move through the scene. An old shift as you do this to go faster. You can also vary the speed of the scene camera movement. Holding the right mouse button allows you to use WASD to move like a first person character and rotate in the view with the mouse. E moves up and Q moves down. Overlays can be toggled on or off by pressing shift and apostrophe. The overlays menu can be opened and closed by pressing apostrophe. This can be useful if you have the AI navigation package installed and wanted to switch off the nav mesh overlay. You can position your camera view to match your scene view by pressing Ctrl, Shift and F for Windows, Command, Shift and F on the Mac. Change your main object manipulation tools by pressing Q for Pan, W for Move, E for Rotate, R for Scale, T for Rect Transform and Y for the combined Move Rotate Scale tool. Click on an item and press F to frame it in your scene view. Toggle the object's center or pivot by pressing Z. Toggle the object's local and global space by pressing X. Press Ctrl and D on Windows, Command and D on Mac to duplicate an item. To delete an item, press Shift and Delete or just Delete on its own. Press Shift and H to enter into isolation mode to work on a single object or multiple objects in isolation from everything else. You can select multiple items when holding Shift. If you find that you need to select the same items multiple times, you can save the selection. There are 10 slots available and these can be overwritten with a new selection. To save a selection for Windows, press Ctrl, Alt and the number between 0 and 9 only on the numpad section at the right of the keyboard. For Mac, press Shift, Command and a number between 0 and 9. If you don't have a numpad on your keyboard, you can also use the Edit drop-down and Selection menu. In the hierarchy, you can press L to toggle the lock for the selected items. Now you won't be able to click on them or select them. To reload the selection, press Ctrl Shift and the same number for Windows. Or for Mac, press Option Command and the same number. Press H to hide selected items and H again to unhide. You can use Smart Search by pressing Ctrl and K on Windows, Command and K on Mac and use the search parameters. For example, to search the hierarchy for any hidden items. Press Ctrl and I on Windows or Command and I on Mac to invert the selection. Press Alt and P to view a new inspector tab for the selected item. Press Ctrl, Shift and N on Windows, Command, Shift and N on Mac to create a new empty game object. To create a child empty game object, press Alt, Shift and N on Windows or Option, Shift and N on Mac. Newly created objects can be moved into the center of your view by pressing Ctrl, Alt and F on Windows or Command, Option and F on Mac. 
To group items together under one parent, select the items and press Ctrl, Shift and G on Windows, Command, Shift and G on Mac to create a new empty parent game object. To line up these stools, first get them roughly in line with each other. Switch on the grid and choose Move to Handle so the grid lines up with this object. Press Ctrl, right square bracket on Windows, Command, right square bracket for Mac to make the grid size bigger. Press backslash to toggle snapping mode on. This only works in global space. Select all three items and press Ctrl backslash for Windows, Command backslash for Mac to line up the items with the grid. They find the closest corner point and it lines them up perfectly. Make the grid smaller by using Ctrl left square bracket for Windows, Command left square bracket for Mac. Move the stools so they are sitting on the ground. If I want to extend this ledge, first press Shift and H to enter isolation mode. Duplicate with Ctrl and D for Windows, Command and D for Mac. Then hold V on the keyboard to allow you to snap two vertices together. You can also press Shift and V to switch on or off the vertex snapping mode. This way vertex snapping is continuously on. Think of it being like caps lock. To open the animation window, press Ctrl and 6 on Windows, Command and 6 on Mac. With a keyframe selected, press F to frame them on the screen, then press A to frame all keyframes. With multiple frames selected, pressing F will frame all the ones selected. Press Shift and period to move to the last keyframe. Press Shift and comma to move to the first keyframe. Press period to move forward by one frame. Press comma to move back by one frame. Press Alt and period on Windows, Option and period on Mac to move to the next keyframe. Press Alt and comma on Windows, Option and comma on Mac to move to the previous keyframe. And press Space to play the animation. Moving over to the Curves view, the same shortcuts work here also. F will frame selected keyframes and A will frame all. Use the middle mouse scroll wheel to zoom in. Alt, Shift and right mouse button on Windows, Option, Shift and right mouse button on Mac will zoom vertically. Alt, Control and right mouse button on Windows, Option, Command and right mouse button on Mac will zoom horizontally. Opening shortcuts from the edit menu you can see the keys that have been assigned and which ones are unassigned in dark grey. You can assign your own shortcuts, double click and press the shortcut combination to set it. If you try to enter a shortcut that is already assigned to something else, it will display a binding conflict warning. If you create a conflict, it is marked in yellow and appears in the binding conflicts section. To remove a shortcut, right click on it and choose remove shortcut. Now in the scene view, I can very quickly move between top, left, front and perspective modes. For more great Unity tips, download the ebook from the video description below. Thanks for watching.